Okay, this video today is going to talk about how to modify your digital scrapbook papers that you can download from the website. Now, oftentimes, you know, there's there's a lot of great colors and textures available, but sometimes they just aren't exactly what you might possibly need for your project that you have in mind. Like take for example, here is um, a couple swatches from the Baby Girl collection. And you know, it's nice subtle pinks and greens and fairly pastel colors, but, and the textures are great and it would, you know, it would serve purposes for other layouts other than babies. But, so today I'm going to show you how you can modify that. Now, the, the photo I'm choosing is, you know, it really, <laughs> it's a great photo of my kids. I love it. But as you can see, when you put it on the layout, it is really, it's just the colors are just all wrong for it. But that's okay, we can change that. That's the beauty of digital scrapbook paper is you're not limited to what is on screen. You have a lot of control over how, um, how you can choose your colors and how you can modify it. Now with that layer selected, I have it here, it's the base layer on my layout. I am going to go to image adjustments, hue and saturation. This is a very important tool for color changing in any Photoshop or Photoshop element document, so it's definitely worth playing around with. And here you can see under edit is master, and if you click on it, there's reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues, and magentas. Now I'm going to keep it on master right now just to kind of give you an idea of what this will do. If you take the hue slider bar and you move it one way or the other, it's going to completely change the colors of your background. Now if we move to the left here, it's, you know, it's showing a lot more purples and it really isn't the colors we're after. Kind of want more earthy, earthy tones, you know, that it's going to look great with the background in the photo and keep the red and the blue you know, in the photo popping. Now below that is the saturation. If you move it to the left, it's going to make it a lot more gray. It's going to take a lot of the color out. And actually that's kind of a nice look, you know, more for masculine layout. Or if you move it far to the right, <laughs> it's going to look like fire. See how different, you know, the saturation option can do for your for your colors. So I'm going to move that back to zero. And then the lighten of course does what, what you'd expect it to. It's going to make it lighter or darker. And then one other thing I'm going to show you is that whatever color is in this in your foreground color, you can actually select colorize and it's going to turn it into a monochromatic um, color for your entire image that layer that is selected. You can do this with photos, you can do this with paper, you can do this with pretty much anything. But that's not what I'm after in this um, for this paper. So I am going to select reds because I'm going to try to get rid of some of the pink in this layout. Probably going to move it when I just have the red selected, it's going to keep the green still visible in your layout in the paper, but it's really only going to change the red. Just going to see that. So a lot of this is really just a matter of playing around with it, seeing what works, and finding just the right color that that really looks good. So I think I'm going to keep it right about there. I'm going to make note of it that I've changed the red hue to plus 32 because I'm probably going to do that with the other layers. Now saturation, I'm going to move it about the same to minus 32. I'm going to keep the lightness. Hmm. I'm going to just keep it and maybe about 12 or 16, minus 16. 
See how easy that was? Now I'm going to click on the next layer with the stripe. And then I'm going to select hue and saturation again. Select my reds. Move my hue to plus 32. My saturation to minus 32. And my lightness to minus 16. Now this bar in the center here, it's a solid color. I would like to, to pull in the red from my son's shirt and I'm going to turn that bar into that color. Now without having to select it, click on the lock button right next to it, make sure that's highlighted. And then when you fill it, it's only going to fill what's in you know where the pixels are at on that layer. So I, instead of having just a solid bar going across behind this image, I am going to play around with the layers and I have decided to try the linear burn. You see it really brings out the darker colors in black, but it's a little too dark, so I'm going to change the opacity just a tad probably down to about 80 percent. And as you can see, what was a baby girl paper design is now more suitable for um, the image, the picture that I've chosen for this layout. <laughs> 